Hey, I'm Johnny May, and welcome to Piano with Johnny. Today I'm going to teach you the coolest exercise out there for piano. It's called the Endless Epic Chord Lesson, and it's really fun to play, which is pretty rare for an exercise. There's lots of exercises out there, but there's not a lot of fun ones to play. So I wrote this specifically so that you would have fun as a pianist as you develop all of the techniques that you need to progress as a player. You're going to learn finger dexterity, accuracy, speed, and precision. You're going to learn 24 chords, 12 major, 12 minor chords. You're going to be learning inversions of your chords, and you're going to be learning three really exciting patterns in my course. Now, this is one of those patterns. I'm really excited to show this to you, and let's dive in. All right, so this is never ending epic piano chords. This is pattern number one. Before we dive into the nitty gritty here, I kind of want to explain the principle behind this to you. Um, it's really cool pattern. I actually made this up because I realized, hey, if you take these two chords, you know, this has this kind of like epic sound to it. You can actually repeat the pattern, you know, going down. So each one of these, um, you know, what you're hearing, you're actually only hearing two chords. You're hearing that minor to major sound, and that's what creates this sort of like epic piano chord sound. So once I show you the chords, then you can play these various patterns and show off to your friends. And truly, it is an endless pattern. You can actually play this to the outer edges of the, of the piano. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, let's get into it. All right, so this is never ending epic chords number three. This is gonna be the, mo the probably the most challenging pattern. Um, definitely still at a beginner level, and if you wanna play it quickly, it'll definitely look more impressive. But um, this is the basic pattern. Again, we're using the same chords starting on D minor, you know, D flat major, G minor, E flat major, and of course ending on that, that F major. Uh, here's the pattern, it's a pretty cool one. It's very, a lot more busy and uh, left hand's got some jumping in it, so here we go. Right? And that takes you all the way through. Um, as you can see here, like I said, we got octaves jumping in the left hand. The right hand, we're actually now using the full octave, okay? So far, we've only been using three notes of the chord. Now we're going to be using four notes of the chord, okay? So just keep that in mind. So D minor is the first chord. We're outlining the A, D, the F, and the A, okay? I like to use finger, you can use finger four or three on the F, you know, two on the D. Right hand pattern is this. explanatory you're just going up and back down okay so you do that pattern four times one two three four and then we're going to switch chords left hand D octaves then we're going to jump up here to the root and the third of the chord remember D minor is D F and A so we're playing D and F okay left hand is fairly simple one two three four it's on the beat okay so a lot of movement in the right hand, much less movement in the left hand, but we get those octaves and then those internal middle range chords, which gives it a lot of power, okay? So here's the first measure. Uh, we'll do it slowly. Three, four, one. B flat is the next one. We're going to move our outer notes up to B flat. Keep the internal notes the same. B, D, F, B flat, D, F, and B flat. Left hand goes down to the B flat octaves, and now we're going to hit the full chord. B flat, D, and F. Okay? So, there's our full chord. Let's go ahead and do this pat pattern now. We'll go slowly. Three, four, one. Next chord is G minor, okay? We're gonna move this F up to the G, and that's it. So we got B flat, D, G, and B flat. Left hand, G, octaves, 
we hop up to this G minor in first inversion. Remember root position chord, it looks like this. So we're going up to the first inversion, B flat, D, and G. Same pattern as before. Next chord is E flat major. This, is, this one has a lot of power because we're going to hit this big E flat octave uh, down below, okay? So we got E flat down here. The chord is here. B e flat, E flat, G is our chord. Right hand, e, uh, B flat, E flat, G, and B flat, okay? And here they are together. Ah, so epic. Isn't that cool? Coming from that G minor. Um, okay, we're going to continue here, measure 5, C minor. Um, there's our new chords, C, E flat, G, and C. Left hand, we got C octaves, up to a root position, C minor, C, E flat, and G. And here we are. Okay, and this is our A flat chord here, okay? G moves up to A flat. There's our notes, C, E flat, A flat, and C. Left hand is A flat octaves. We're gonna hop up here, you gotta kinda turn your hand in to get the thumb on the A flat, but your notes are C, E flat, A flat. Okay, kind of a, a little more awkward one. Here's this measure. So we're gonna do measures now one through six, starting on the D minor, D minor ending on the A flat major. And we'll go about medium tempo. Okay, here we go. I'll count you off. Three, four, one, two, Hey, great job, well done. Uh, there's more to this course and you can get the rest of the course on my website at uh, pianowithjohnny.com. I have the full course where you learn the rest of this pattern and two other patterns and I teach you a bunch of tricks, a lot of cool stuff in there. And if you're up for it and you think you can take the challenge, go for the advanced course. It's a step harder, but I think at this level you can start that course and it gets progressively harder. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy my videos, there's more to come. And have a great day.